long-term outcome is good, complication rate is really low, then do not overlook NPH or INPH. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, excellent, Coach. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for being okay. patient. Thank you very much. And we'll move right along to the next presentation, Professor, okay. Professor Takashi Kawahara from Japan. Takashi, uh, are you there? Takashi, uh, yeah, let me unmute you there. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Takashi, could you please introduce yourself and on to your presentation. Welcome. Okay, I'm sorry, uh, Kiyoshi, you have to get off screen share. Uh, I'll once get up. Again, once again, Michael, oh, the Michael, <laughs> Michael's at work. <laughs> okay, Takashi, go ahead. Uh, I, I share. Okay, could you introduce yourself, please? Uh, Takashi, could you please introduce, okay, I guess you probably are going to, right? Okay. Can you see my? Yes, my yes. Yes, we can. Takashi, could you please introduce yourself? Okay. Uh, hello, I'm Takashi Kawahara. I'm working, working in NPH Center of Atsuchi Neurological Hospital in Japan. Thank I'll you. Talk, uh, I'll talk about our experience of LP shunt procedure under local anesthesia. First, for medical students. INP patient manifest these three major symptoms, get disturbance, urinary incontinence, and cognitive impairment. Next, I'll brief you on the radiographic findings of INPH. Uh, ventriculomegaly, tight high convexity and medial subarachnoid space, Enlarged Sylvian fissure, narrowing of sulci with focal dilation. Japanese study group called this changes DASH. And three kinds of shunt surgery have been performed for treatment VP, VA, and LP shunting. In 2015, Japanese study group revealed that LP shunt is beneficial. Thereafter, Japanese neurosurgeon prefer to do LP shunt. Now about 55% of patients are treated with LP shunt in Japan. This patient was operated with LP shunt surgery. His gait disturbance was improved. Apparently, efficient is effective treatment for INPH patient. In fact, efficient might be developed in Japan. Dr. Kuana inspired this method by the failure of, of the epidural anesthesia. I already mentioned, Symphony 2 revealed that LP shunt is similarly effective to VP shunt and less injurious. Uh, these days, general anesthesia is commonly selected for LP shunt, but it can be performed under local anesthesia. Now I'll talk about our LP shunt procedure. Two operators are required on back and abdominal side of patient. A lateral position during surgery, no positional alternation. Local anesthesia is necessary for the anterior and posterior fascia of abdominal rectal muscle. Only these three areas uh, acquired lo local anesthesia. This is a video of LP shunt surgery. And this is a view from the back side of the patient. We performed diagnostic puncture with medial approach. We check the position and measure the depth.
And the mark the toy needle. And puncture with paramedian approach. And insert the spinal caster apart. While the spinal caster insertion, we ask the patient radical, radical pain would be occur or not. Skin incision before pulling out the toy needle to avoid damaging the spinal catheter. Minimum subcutaneous space for valve pressing is made in this area. And the local anesthesia injection is not required for the procedure of making subcutaneous pocket. And pass the catheter towards the flank with inline passer. And place the programmable bubble bulb in the subcutaneous space. We press dorsal side and cut the cachita and connect the spinal cachita to the bulb carefully. And this is view from the abdominal side. Abdominal procedure is started as soon as the confirmation of the spinal catheter insertion. We use these blunt scalp, scalp hooks and rubber rings. Blunt scalp hooks, hooks are available for pulling up abdominal rectal muscle and the peritoneal membrane. Like this video, the surgical field is close to surgeon by using these hooks. It is easy to split the rectus muscle without using muscle relaxant. And pass the distal cassita from the flank to abdomen with inline passa and pull out the cassita between fat layer and anterior fascia. For prevent, uh, pulling the cassita under rectus muscle with mosquito cramp is useful for preventing abdominal cassita migration in the subcutaneous space. And since it is surgery under local anesthesia, the peritoneal incision should be made as small as possible. Uh, this is peritoneal membrane and cut the membrane as small as possible and insert abdominal cassita. With this method, abdominal cassita directed to Douglas porch naturally. After closure of anterior fascia, abdominal cassita is covered by abdominal rectal muscle. We can see abdominal cassita in this field. 
this method prevents abnormal migration in the subcutaneous space. We finish the LP shunt operation within 40 minutes. We operated 441 patients under local anesthesia. The mean age was 78 years old. This table is intraoperative complications. We could not finish LP shunt surgery in nine patients, but no serious complications were observed during surgery. This table is post-operative complications. Postural headache is the most frequent obser observed, and no serious complications were observed after local anesthesia operation. Because of few sensory receptor of pain in the fat tissue, only skin, subcutaneous tissue, and muscle fascia are required long local anesthesia. Fat tissue is not required. Repetient is less injurious than VP or VA shunting, so no surgical injury on the brain, spine, and abdominal organ. Small intraoperative bleeding, few medication acquired during this procedure. So it is less possibility of severe complication during and after LP shunt surgery and the local anesthesia and the modified NRA. The number of LP shunt surgery gradually increased in our hospital and already exceeded 90 cases this year. This is last slide. LP shunt is minimum invasive procedure for INPH treatment. Local anesthesia boosts with sufficient sedation and analgesia could be easily performed for LP 